Let's solve problem 1.45 from Microelectronic Circuits 8th edition by Cedrin Smith. Various amplifier and load combinations are measured as listed below using root mean square values. For each, find the voltage, current, and power gains, and both ratios as both as ratios and in dB. So let's start with just some formulas. So the voltage gain will be equal to the output voltage divided by the input voltage. The current gain will be input current divided by output current, or sorry, output current divided by input current. And then our power gain would be, you could probably figure output power divided by input power. And since P is equal to VI, power is equal to voltage times current, that would just be output voltage times output current divided by input voltage times input current. I'm going to capitalize all of the currents. Okay. And if we want to convert any three of these values to dB, you, you take a 20 and multiply it by log base 10 of the absolute value of that respective gain. So let's start with part A. The voltage gain of this is equal to output voltage divided by input voltage, and we're given both of those values. So it's 10 volts divided by 100 millivolts. Uh, you want to be careful to make sure you're using the same units for both, so I'm going to do 100 times 10 to the negative 3 volts. That is 100 volt divided by volt. And in dB, that would be 20 log base 10 of 100. And that is equal to 40 dB. OK, now our current gain is equal to output current divided by input current. So we have our input current, but how do we find output current? Well, that would just be output voltage divided by the load resistance. So we're going to do 10 volts divided by 100 ohms divided by input current is 100 microamps, which I'm going to convert to amps. So that's 10 to the negative 6 amps. So that gets us 0 0.1 amps divided by 100 times 10 to the negative 6 amps. That equals 1,000 amp over amp, which if we convert to decibels is equal to 60 dB. Lastly, our power gain. Right, so that's just output voltage times output current divided by input voltage times input current. So that is equal to 10 volts times 0 0.1 amps divided by 100 millivolts, which I'm going to convert to just normal volts, times the input current of 100 times 10 to the negative 6 amps. I'm converting all these to standard units just to help ease the calculation. So that is equal to 10 to the power of 5 watt per watt. Now, you do want to be careful for power. You're only going to multiply by 20 for your voltage and your current gains. However, for power, we only multiply by 10. So 10 log base 10 of the absolute value of A. So just be careful about that. Whenever you're doing power conversion to decibel, you only multiply by 10. So this would be 10 times the log base 10 of the absolute value of 10 to the power of 5. That is equal to 50 decibels. 
Okay, let me erase this and we'll solve part B. Okay, let's start solving for part B. So our voltage gain is V out divided by V in. That is one volt divided by 10 microvolts is equal to 10 times 10 to the negative six volts. Clean that up a little. That is equal to one times 10 to the fifth volt per volt or 20 log base 10 of one times 10 to the fifth will give us a hundred decibels. Current or yeah, current gain is equal to V out divided by RL divided by V in. That is one volt, or sorry, I in. So there's one volt divided by 10 kilo ohms divided by 100 nano amps. So that is equal to 0 0.1 milliamps divided by 100 nano amps. So that's 0 0.1 times 10 to the negative 3 amps. And then nano is 10 to the power of negative 9. So 100 times 10 to the power of negative 9 amps. That is equal to 1,000 amp per amp. Or you can do 20 log base 10 of 1,000 to get 60 decibels. Then our power is just V out times I out divided by V in times I in. That's equal to one volt times 0 0.1 times 10 to the negative three amps divided by 10 micro amp, micro volts, 10 times 10 to the negative six volt times 100 nano amps, which is 100 times 10 to the negative 9 amps. That is equal to 1 times 10 to the power of 8 watt per watt. And then if we want to convert to decibel, that would just be 10 times log base 10 of 1 times 10 to the power of 8, which is equal to 80 decibels. OK, let's do part C. OK, let's wrap up with part C. So our voltage gain is equal to output voltage divided by input voltage, which is 5 volts divided by 1 volt, which is 5 volt per volt, or 20 log base 10 of 5, which is equal to, it's like 14 decibels. Current gain is output voltage divided by load resistance divided by input current, which is, let's see, so 1 volt divided by 10 ohms divided by 1 milliamp. That is equal to 0 0.5 amps divided by 1 times 10 to the negative 3 amps. That is equal to 500 amp per amp or 20 log base 10 of 500. That is 54 decibels. And lastly, our power. Power gain is output voltage times output current divided by input voltage times input current. So that's equal to 5 volts times 0 0.5 amps 
divided by 1 volt times 1 times 10 to the negative 3 amps. This is equal to, I got 2,500 watt per watt, or 10 times log base 10 of 2,500, which is 34 decibels. That solves the problem.